The NFL draft started last night and Twitter had some thoughts. What's up you guys, happy Friday. It's Devin Howard. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, find me there as at Devin Howard. Subscribe to the Fumble, tap the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. The start of the NFL draft happened last night and we finally have some important sports news to discuss. I'll let Twitter tell you how it all went down. The Bengals selected Joe Burrow with the first overall pick. He's one of the best quarterback prospects in years and fans were so excited about it. One thirsty woman tweeted, am I really fixing to have to be a Cincinnati fan? Because if Joe Burrow is a Bengal, I'm a Bengal. And this tweet describes the relief felt by all Bengals fans. Remember back in January when we were scared the Bengals were going to F this up? Well, they didn't. And then Joe tweeted, enough talk, time to get to work. Yes, Joe, that's the attitude. <laughs> Yes, Joe, that's the attitude. The LA Chargers, my personal team, as you can tell by my shirt, also made some pretty good moves last night. Justin Herbert is officially part of the team and Chargers fans seem to be thrilled. One tweet says, quote, Justin Herbert is so easy to like, easy to root for, highly intelligent, coachable, and oh yeah, he's as physically talented as the quarterback you could create in a video game. They also picked up Kenneth Murray, who basically predicted this three years ago. He tweeted back in 2017, three years from now, I will be a first round draft pick. Just wait. And last night he retweeted that writing, I did it, hashtag chargers. Well, welcome to the fam, Kenneth. We've been wondering what would happen to Tua. The Miami Dolphins selected him last night with the fifth overall pick in the 2020 draft. He's heading to the AFC East, so the Patriots are going to be seeing a lot of him. His former teammate Damian Harris tweeted him a congratulatory message. He wrote, a great player, but a greater teammate and friend. Congratulations, my brother. We also saw tweets pointing out his obvious skills. This one says, Tua is the best quarterback in the AFC East. Fumble fans, do you agree? Jerry Judy, who is heading to the Broncos, asked the NFL commissioner to make a TikTok with him. So here's that. I'ma show you how to get it. It go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically, I'm saying either way, we about to slide. LeBron James gave a shout out to Jeff Okuda. He wrote, quote, I'm saying congratulations right now, lil bro. Whoever drafted you is getting a straight up dog, but more importantly, a great young man. But there was one thing that distracted everybody a bit from the NFL draft. Cliff Kingsbury's insane setup. The Cardinals head coach was watching the draft from what looks like a phenomenal mansion. Patrick Mahomes tweeted that he's trying to have a crib like Cliff. Yeah, so am I, Pat, so am I. <laughs> But of course, the night wouldn't be complete without a couple of shockers, and all of that came in the form of tweets by Odell Beckham Jr. As the draft went on, he started dragging the NFL after they used the infamous footage of him kicking the net in a montage. He said, quote, I love how many positive things we could be showing during these times, and especially during the draft where these young men are at their dream stage. Yet y'all still like to use one moment of me in the kicking net. This world is hilarious. That sh really sad. He added, quote, don't even make no sense. The draft got nothing to do with me. I got nothing to do with the Giants. Love you all. Thank you for everything. But anyways, it's funny how I ain't sh yet I'd be one of the people to be on every montage and every other segment when you need a headline. Yeah, you know, I have to admit, out of all of his noteworthy moments in the league, they had to use that clip doesn't really make any sense. All right, you guys, let me know what you think about the NFL draft. Are you excited about some of these picks? Are you upset about them? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble. We'll have more sports news and more NFL draft updates coming for you later in the week. So talk to you then. Bye.